This is Mrs. Zappia with Lessons 17 and 18 from Module 3, The Area of a Circle, and More Problems on Area and Circumference. The student outcomes for Lesson 17 are students give an informal der derivation of the relationship between the circumference and area of a circle. Students know the formula for the area of a circle and use it to solve problems. In Lesson 18, the outcomes are students will examine the meaning of quarter circle and semicircle. Students solve area and perimeter problems for regions made out of rectangles, quarter circles, semicircles, and circles, including solving for unknown lengths when the area or perimeter is given. The essential question for Lesson 17 is how are the area of this circle and rectangle related? Turn the page. In our exploratory challenge, there is a YouTube video that you could watch if you would like to on uh, determining the formula for the area of a circle. So it's right here, and I will also link it in the notes to this video. So to find the formula for the area of a circle, we start with a circle and we cut it into 16 equal pieces that uh, are similar to a triangle. We arrange the triangle wedges by alternating the triangle directions and sliding them together to make a parallelogram. Cut the triangle on the left side in half, right here, and slide the outside half of the triangle to the other end of the parallelogram in order to create an approximate rectangle. So we take this piece over here and we move it to the other side, over here, and now we have a shape that is very similar to a rectangle. We know the formula for a rectangle is area equals base times height. And with our new rectangle, this height is the radius of the circle. And so we can call that R. Then the length or the base of the rectangle is this segment here, which is half the circumference. So this base is half the circumference. And we know that the formula for circumference is diameter times pi. So if we want half of this, we can take 1 half times diameter times pi. Well, looking at the circle, we know that the entire diameter goes across. And if you want half of that, half of the diameter is the radius. So let's replace this half diameter with radius. So the radius times pi is the length of this segment. And it's right here, radius times pi. The circumference is 2 pi r, where the radius is r. Therefore, half the circumference is pi r. That right there. What is the area of the rectangle using the side lengths above? So the area of the rectangle is the base times the height. And in this case, the area is pi r times r. So again, let's take a look at that. The area of the rectangle is the base times the height. And the base is pi r, and the height is the radius. Are the areas of the rectangle and the circle the same? What do you think? Yes, since we just rearranged the pieces of the circle to make the rectangle, the area of the rectangle and the area of the circle are approximately equal. Note that the more sections we cut the circle into, the closer the approximation. So again, what this is proving is that the area of this circle is equal to the area of this rectangle. The area of this circle is equal to the area of this rectangle. And the area of this rectangle is pi times r times r. Taking that one step further, if the area of the rectangle shape and the circle are the same, what is the area of the circle? 
the area of the circle then would be pi times r times r. And we write that with combining these r's to r squared. So this is the formula for the circle. Turn the page to example two. Example two. A sprinkler rotates in a circular pattern and sprays water over a distance of 12 feet. What is the area of the circular region covered by the sprinkler? Express your answer to the nearest square foot. So we'll underline that so that we remember to round our answer to the nearest whole number. So draw a diagram to assist you in solving the problem. We know that this is going to be a circle. And it says that the sprinkler rotates in a circular pattern. So we'll think of the head of the sprinkler right here. And then this will be 12 feet. So we know that the radius of our circle is 12 feet. Then the question is asking, what, does the, um, what information is needed to solve the problem? So if we want to know what the area is going to be, then we need to know the area formula. So the area formula is pi times radius squared. In order to solve this problem, we need to know what the radius is. And we know that the radius is 12 feet. So next, find the area of the circular region covered by the sprinkler. So step one would be to write the formula area equals pi times radius squared. The second step would be to substitute the radius for r. So area is equal to pi times 12 squared. Then if we multiply 12 times 12, 12 squared is 144. So 144 pi feet squared. This would be considered an answer in terms of pi. You can also use 3.14 for pi to get a numeric answer. So if we went ahead and did that, we would have 144 times 3.14. And that would give us 452.16. Now the direction said to round it to the nearest square foot. So our answer is 452 square feet. Next, turn to page 136. Copy the essential question for lesson 18. How do you find the area of a fraction of a circle? And then turn the page. In example one, find the area of the following semicircle. Use pi approximately 22 sevenths. We'll use the formula for the area of a circle. And we know that the formula for the area of a circle is pi times radius squared. And this is a semicircle, which is a fraction of a circle. It is half a circle. So the area for the semicircle will be 1 half times pi times radius squared. So we want to make sure that we're using the radius. This measurement of 14 is actually the diameter. And the radius will be half of that. So the radius is 7. So we have 1 half times pi. And for pi, it says to use 22 sevenths to approximate that. And then the radius is 7. And we need 7 squared, which is 7 times 7. I'm going to write that 7 times 7 as a fraction because I'm multiplying with fractions. So that will be 7 over 1 times 7 over 1. Then I want to look ahead to see if I can uh, simplify anything. And I see that I have a 7 and a 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. And here I have a common factor of 2. Divide by 2 and I get 1 and 11. Multiply your numerators. 11 times 7 is 77. And 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. And so the area of the semicircle is 77. Our unit of measure is centimeters squared because we are counting how many square units it takes to cover our entire semicircle. 
In the next problem, what is the area of a quarter circle? Well, the area formula is pi r squared, and we only want a quarter of that. So a quarter as a fraction is one-fourth. So we will use one-fourth times pi times radius squared. So we want to be careful to use the radius, and that is what is given to us. So we have one-fourth. To approximate pi, we are instructed to use 22 sevenths. And the radius squared is 6 times 6. I'm going to write that as a fraction since I'm multiplying by fractions. I want to check and see if I can simplify anything first. And I see that 2 is a common factor. So I'm going to divide both of those by 2. And that gives me 2 and 11. Then I see that I have a common factor here of 2. So I'm going to divide those by 2. And that gives me 1 and 3 multiplying 11 times 3 times 6 and that gives me 198 and in my denominator just 7 times 1 so the area of this semicircle is 198 sevenths centimeters squared you could also change that to a mixed number 7 goes into 198 28 times so you could say that it's 28 and 2 sevenths centimeters squared as well. Either one of those answers would be acceptable. Turn the page. And turn the page. Here we go. We're at the summary now on page 140. In this lesson, you have learned the formula for the area of a circular region is pi times radius squared. Area equals pi times radius squared. The area of a semicircle is half the area of a circle with the same radius. The area of a quarter circle is a quarter of the area of a circle with the same radius. If a problem asks you to use 22 sevenths for pi, look for ways to use fraction arithmetic to simplify your computation in the problem. Problems that involve the composition of several shapes may be de decomposed in more than one way. 